Hello everyone. Now we'll see if you're new, subscribe to my channel. So we'll see algorithm and flowchart to display first ten natural numbers. So this is flowchart, and uh, this is algorithm, and this is dry run. Dry run means what? Like uh, we will see roughly how each step will get executed without running on the computer. So we will see first with algorithm, and uh, we will see what is algorithm actually. It is sequence of instruction for performing specific tasks that is set of instruction so means before doing practically on computer we have to just write step in english like language so very first step is begin so you can write start also second step is why because we want to print what one so initially counter c you can give any variable name so we can say like counter one or you can write any variable name now why we had wrote here in third step repeat step four and five what we want we want this one first initially to be displayed till it becomes 10 means one two three four this way so initially we want one to be displayed so repeat step 4 and 5 you will understand now what this is 4 and 5 okay these two step will get executed 4 and 5 again and again here it will go till it become 11 when it becomes 11 it will come out of this steps so we will see now now uh, what will happen now it will check here if counter is less than equal to 10 yes counter is what initially 1 ok so here it will display the value of counter so what is the value of counter so value of counter is 1 initially it is 1 now what it will do uh, we want to increment by uh, this now you can see here dry run also so initially counter is 1 and we want that it should display value of 1 so output is initially 1 so 1 is printed here ok now we want counter that is uh, the counter value should be incremented so in fifth step what we had done we had incremented the value of counter by 1 that is counter is equal to counter plus 1 it will become 2 so counter became 2 then it will go again uh, to step that is 3 ok so again this step why it will uh, repeat again and again 4 and 5 because counter is now 2 so it will go up 4 4 to 5 4 step is what display so it will display 2 ok so you can see below then again a counter will become uh, what it will become 3 ok it will become 3 then again it will go up it will check 3 is less than 10 yes then it will display 3 counter will increment it will become 4 again it will go up so this step will go go on uh, displaying and incrementing the value of counter again and again till the counter value becomes 11 when it becomes 11 then it will not go in this 4 fifth step it will directly stop the program okay so you can write here uh, one more line like uh, till uh, counter is this we have to repeat and then by default it will go to 6 step 6 step is what end means it will stop the program so dry run is same way like uh, we are saying same way like when a counter is 1 it should increment and then it should display again counter will become 2 counter will increment then it will display so this process will go and each when each time counter is incremented each time it is printed okay when it becomes 11 then it will stop okay means it will not print 11 okay so it will stop now we will see flowchart so this is flowchart flowchart means graphical representation of the flow of instruction so these are uh, the symbols which are used for representing uh, flowchart so different symbols for different purpose so very first symbol here we had used uh, oval shape that is uh, 
for uh, this is also called terminator symbol for start and stop okay so the same symbol is used for start and as well as stop so next instruction is counter that is uh, second step in second step what we had written we had assigned counter as one why because we want to print one two three four natural numbers till ten okay so so this symbol this rectangular uh, symbol is used for that is for processing okay next is now we want to decide that is whether counter is uh, is counter less than equal to 10 here so this diamond shape is also called uh, decision making symbol so it is checking now is is counter less than equal to 10 yes what it was initially one yes one is less than equal to 10 okay because what we had written here is counter less than equal to 10 means counter value is initially what 1 so it will check 1 is less than 1 is less than equal to 10 yes 1 is less than counter value is what 1 1 is less than equal to 10 yes it is less if it is yes then what we had written here like uh, we had gone to next step that is to print so print any uh, input output parallelogram symbol is used yes we have to write here label and it will print one then counter will increment it will become two okay so this this is process symbol counter will increment then again it should go up okay to check because we want to repeat this process again and again so what will happen we have to represent this arrow here so it will again check now counter value is what two here because counter initially what it was one so here it is now two counter is equal to counter plus one is one plus one it became two so it will check it will go up it will check now counter is two two is less than equal to ten because now counter value here it was incremented so it will check yes it is less than ten then again yes uh, because we have to check whether it is less than equal to ten yes it is yes so it will display what it will display uh, counter so what is the value of counter now two next so it will display so this is parallelogram for input and output then this process symbol in yellow uh, now counter value was 2 now this will become here uh, that is it will use that is 2 counter value is counter value is 2 plus 1 now became it became 3 then again it will go up then it will again go up here here it will go see this arrow this will go again and again these steps till this becomes less than equal to 10 until it is less than equal to 10 so these steps these steps will go go on repeating again and again till this counter means when finally it displays 10 no what will happen when counter is 11 now here suppose 10 plus 1 11 last step so this will become 11 it will go here it will check 11 is less because counter last value is 11 counter is less than equal to 10 no no means then it will go to which uh, it will stop the program so we have to represent this label for stopping the program so here we had used the arrow symbol so arrow symbol is used to represent flow of instruction so we have to stop the program when it becomes 11 so from 1 to 10 these numbers will get printed till counter is uh, 1 to 10 when it becomes 11 because no we have to write we have to write label also no means when it becomes 11 then your program should stop even you can uh, uh, represent like uh, every line here you can write arrow that is to represent flow of instruction this way also you can make these arrows to indicate how the instruction get flow so hope you understood subscribe to my channel to get more updates you can see this uh, algorithm again and this is dry run dry run is uh, temporary to see the output how each step get executed on a paper and this is flowchart that is graphical representation of instructions thank you hope you understood subscribe to my channel to get more updates thank you